What's up, gamers? It's Old School Fool here, and today we have a special surprise for you, and that's the Comic Con 2009. We're actually standing in the doorways of the Comic Con 2009. You're probably wondering why we're at Comic Con when we cover games, but guess what? There's actual games here. Activision, Namco, Bandai will be here, Konami, and of course, Rockstar, New York's own Rockstar, makers of Grand Theft Auto, are also going to be here. So let's go inside, take a look, and see what Comic Con has to offer. What's up, gamers? Old School Fool here. I'm standing with the lovely Two, who's really number one to me right now because she's check I'm checking out with her the new Mad World, uh, and brought to by Sega, right, Chris? It is. Uh, it is a Sega game uh, developed by Platinum Games. The, they were the original creators of Devil May Cry, Beautiful Joe, Okami. Devil May Cry. That's a game where you slice and dice a lot of action, right? Devil, Devil May Cry, uh, yeah, basically very stylish uh, game, action game, yes. Yeah. I was looking at this game, I, I walked up and I was like, oh my god, this is a Wii game that has blood. And I was just like mesmerized, like Wii games, blood, unreal. This is uh, a mature title uh, for the Nintendo Wii, mature for the mature audience only, make sure you're 18 to buy. Um, it, it's just, you know, we're basically tapping into uh, a market that, that, you know, the Nintendo Wii system doesn't really have. You know? Exactly, because I noticed the core audience kind of dropped off a little bit, a lot of casual gamers, which is cool. But this seems like a real core title at this point. Yes, it, it is. It's a core or core title. You know, basically, you know, targeting those hardcore gamers who probably have all the systems, but not a game out there for the Nintendo Wii system. So this is why we brought you Mad World. Now, let me get a little information about the Mad World story. What exactly is Mad World? So Mad World is, of course, this crazy world uh, where a group of or, uh, terrorists called the Organizers have taken over a city uh, called Berrigan City and basically turned into an island and where they wanted the sick and twisted game show called Death Wash just for their own amusement. Uh, the participants are un the unwilling citizens, of course, of the city. Unwilling, but they look like they have a lot there well prepared, though. You know, basically, very Running Man-esque, you know, you know, survival of the fittest, right? So um, you play as Jack. He is a main character in the game. Uh, we can't reveal too much of the storyline of why he's there, but as you do play, we can guarantee that when you play through the game, you will understand why there's a deeper storyline there of what his purpose um, on that island is. Now, the purpose of the island, now he's trying to get off the island. He's, about, he's trying to start stop the organization. Like, what is he trying to do? We, I can't reveal that. You have to play it to find out. Oh, good call. Out. But I can tell you, but he is in this depth... Uh, Death Watch game show where uh, you accumulate points by cre uh, stringing along a lot of creative uh, combos, basically. So I don't know if you've seen from the, the videos or even from the, the, the gameplay, uh, you, have, you have an enemy, you take a tire, you bind him with that, you take a signpost and you impale him, and then you take, that, take him and throw him on a, a, a wall of spikes, and basically that accumulates more points than just hack, like basically chainsawing him in half. Because I saw our body stacks before, like like 10 count bodies on top of each other and spikes. Yes, that was actually what you saw was a death press. It's a bloodbath challenge. It's a, it's What's it called again? Bloodbath challenge. It's oh, basically bloodbath a challenge. little mini game. Uh, what you saw was death press. And the whole object of that was to take all your enemies and throw them into a pool before the, the, the spikes, you know, go down. And this is some serious death. It is. You know, I mean, it's... A ser a ser on a serious tone, this is deathly serious. It's actually pretty comical if you think about it. I mean, this game, over the top violence, it has irreverent humor. Um, since it is a, a game show, there's two commentators that you can't really hear right now, but um, they're voiced by Greg Proops, who d has done Whose Line Is It Anyways, as well as John DiMaggio, who has done uh, the voice of Bender on Futurama. Now, I noticed that the, uh, the graphic style is very uh, cartoony, but like like sketchbook comedy with with black and white, which I thought was an awesome effect. Exactly. Uh, the Platinum Games the development team really wanted to create a game for the Nintendo Wii, an action game at that. Um, they did a lot of research, a lot of, and they wanted to, you know, they're like, okay, Westerners are very into comic books. So they, you know, researched a lot, read a lot of comic books, a lot of graphic novels. You know, Sin City was one of, the, you know, as they mentioned in, pre in earlier interviews, that that's, that's what uh, inspired them. And so you have Mad World, is which they're, you know, out of their creative minds, uh, Mad World, of course, graphic novel style, uh, arts, um, action brawler, easy to pick up and play. Yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. I mean, I get the, the comments I get from the people in the background, are like, they were like, some guy came up to me before, he's like, I waited five years for this game. <laughs> I mean, I know. Same here. You know, uh, n you never thought that a Wii game would be this this much fun. Of course, you know, over the top violence, but you know, very. Yeah, but it's a game, you know. It is. It is a game, and it's very artistic in, in that sense. All right, cool. So let's take a look at a Mad World, shall we? Yes. Devil.
Rated M for Mature. Sega.